To load the Epson SureColor S8600, begin by setting the roll onto the printer with the material coming off the top side facing the printer. Bottom side printed material will be loaded opposite with the media facing away from the printer. Simply place the roll on the tray and then use the media support levers to help guide the material onto the core holder. Make sure that the material is snug onto the core holder. Then move to the other side and repeat the process. To lock the roll in place, slide the core holder over until it can no longer move. Then lock the wheel on the transfer bar down by turning it clockwise as shown here. Once the wheel is locked, turn the metal loading crank clockwise until the blue plastic insert disappears into the core holder. Lift the media loading lever on the top side of the printer so that the lever is closest to the back of the printer. Before loading the material into the printer, make sure that the paper path is clear of obstructions. Using two hands, feed the material into the paper path located above the stainless steel preheater. You can shuffle the media gently until two to three feet have traveled past the print zone. To ensure that the media will travel straight, make sure that the media is not telescoped and that it has a straight edge. Use the media feed button to back the material up five inches or so to straighten the material out. Then lock the material down by closing the gray lever on the top of the printer. To move the edge protectors, pinch the blue tabs on the bottom. The material should appear in the circular windows as shown here, half full. These protectors will prevent head crashes on thicker materials. Using the printer interface, select the material type, then select how the material is wound, and press OK. Lastly, select your length tracking preference, and the printer will begin the loading process. To attach the material to the take-up system with the least amount of waste possible, begin by cutting out a crescent shape into the material edge. Use a strip of masking tape, place it on the middle of the material, and fold it over itself for later application. Place an equal size empty core onto the take-up by inserting the right side onto the core holder first. Then slide the left in place and lock it. Make sure to press it in so that the blue cap disappears and then lock it in place by turning the wheel lock clockwise. Back the material up by using the up arrow button on the machine so that the beginning of the tape is just after the print zone window. Send the job to print. Once the material is in position to attach the take-up, apply even pressure from the middle and tape the product to the empty core. Then pull the dancer bar handle towards you, flip the switch down to wind the print side out or up to wind the print side in. 